My name is Dan Menel. I'm a biologist at the University of Windsor in Ontario, Canada. My colleagues and I recently published a paper in the journal Methods in Ecology and Evolution called A Field Test of a Portable, Affordable Wireless Microphone Array for the Spatial Monitoring of Animal Ecology and Behavior. Microphone array recordings are a really compelling technology for ecologists and behavioral biologists to use to study wild animals because you can find out where an animal is every time it produces a sound. Because of this, you can use this technology to study animals that are difficult to observe because they're active at night, because they're active in very thick vegetation, or any other obstacle that makes an animal difficult to observe directly. Let me explain how a microphone array works. Picture an area of a forest with four microphones in it. Every time an animal sings in the area surrounded by those microphones, its voice spreads around it in a roughly spherical fashion so that its voice is recorded with a slight delay by each one of the microphones. If we then collect the position of each one of those microphones using a global positioning system, we can then triangulate the position of where the animal was when it produced that sound based on those subtle delays in sound arrival time. The exciting thing about this technology is it can be used to study not just one animal, but every animal in the forest at the same time, so that you study every animal in the ecosystem relative to what every other animal in the ecosystem is doing every time that they produce a sound. Microphone array technology has been used for many years. For example, in my research laboratory at the University of Windsor, we've used an eight-channel microphone system to record duetting birds in Costa Rica. We've used a 16-microphone cable-based microphone array to study sparrows and chickadees in eastern Ontario. But the problem with these old systems is that they rely on kilometers of microphone cable to connect each one of those microphones back to a centrally located recorder. As a consequence, as a biologist, you and your research team are lugging around massive amounts of equipment, including cables that can weigh almost 100 pounds. So these previous systems were heavy, they were bulky, and they were also quite expensive because they were custom manufactured equipment. Recently, a new type of microphone array has become available that overcomes these previous obstacles by virtue of being cable-free. It consists of multiple recorders, each with a stereo pair of microphones that records independently to memory cards stored in each unit. Now, the challenge with recording with independent recorders is that the time delay between each recorder must be controlled for very precisely. This system has an integrated global positioning system that allows the clock of each independent recorder to be synchronized exactly, allowing these independent recorders to be used as a microphone array. In this study, our goal was to test whether this new type of wireless microphone array could capably triangulate the position of animals based on the sounds they produce. In order to do this, we set up four of the recorders in a square, either with 25 meters or 50 meters between each recorder, and then we played back sounds from loudspeakers placed at random positions inside the square bounded by the four recorders. We also played sounds from an area outside the area bounded by the four recorders, and then tested how well could we triangulate the position of the loudspeaker. Our field test confirmed that this system can accurately triangulate the position of a sound source based on delays in sound arrival time at the four recorders. Overall, our accuracy of location was 1.8 meters. In our study, we present three main results. The first result is a comparison of how well the system did in a field environment versus a forest environment. As we expected, the system did slightly better in the field, although it could capably triangulate the sound source in both the forest and the field. Our second main result was a comparison of how well the system performed when the loudspeaker was inside the area bounded by the four recorders versus outside the area bounded by the four recorders. And we found, again as we expected, that the system performed much better when the loudspeaker was positioned inside the area versus outside the area bounded by the four recorders. Our third and final result concerned a comparison of when the four recorders were set up in a square with 25 meters between each recorder versus 50 meters between each recorder. We found that the system triangulated the position of the loudspeaker better when the microphones were arranged in a smaller square. In conclusion, our field test of this new microphone array technology proved that the system is highly capable of triangulating the position of animals based on the sounds that they produced.
Importantly, this system overcomes many obstacles of previous systems in that it is lightweight and it is affordable and commercially available. This system will be useful to any ecologist or behavioral biologist who wants to be able to triangulate the position of an animal every time that animal produces a sound. To find out more, you can read the paper that my colleagues and I published in the journal Methods in Ecology and Evolution. You can find out more about research in the Mental Sound Analysis Laboratory through my website.